Over 3,000 reported cybersecurity incidents in 2020 and an understaffed workforce by over 3.1 million. It's obvious that we need more cybersecurity professionals, but is the bar set too high? Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So over the past few years, we have seen a noticeable uptick in cybersecurity incidents, especially as nations rely on digital systems to operate their society. Anything from water treatment plants and electricity grids to congressional operations, and not to mention private enterprises who drive the economy. So today I'm going to discuss three main points. Firstly, we'll clarify what I think the problem is. Then we'll discuss why I think change is needed. And lastly, we'll discuss what I think we can do about it. So the problem, never before have the risks been so great. While many incidents occur from people sort of falling into the same sort of mistakes over and over again, there's new types of attacks and new targets that are always popping up. So it's obvious that we need a workforce who are highly skilled and capable of securing these systems and testing the security of them. But there is one massive problem. Cybersecurity isn't exactly a skill that you learn. It's more of an attribute or principle or even philosophy rather than a skill in of itself. What do I mean by that? Well, you study things like security principles and concepts like least privilege or the CIA triangle, but when you're carrying out the work, especially as a technician, then these concepts, while helpful, don't actually secure the systems. It's your computing skills that do. These computing skills are anything from your programming languages to networking and system admin skills, and so on. Which all take time to both learn through study and on the job experience. These skills also take a considerable amount of time to master and require additional education, training and work experience, especially if security is the focus. This is extremely evident with penetration testing or ethical hacking. To be successful in this field, you really need to have a mile wide span of computing skills and knowledge with enough depth to understand how things can be exploited. Some exploitation techniques and principles can be taught, but much of it is always leveraging your existing knowledge and skill set. Many jobs will require a specific qualification as their baseline requirement for penetration testers before even looking at the rest of a candidate's resume. The problem with this is that the mentioned qualification, being the OSCP, requires significant study and incredibly difficult an exam. While this does help companies hire qualified and seasoned staff, it has created a significant shortage in people able to fill, fulfill positions, leading to a skill shortage. So why do I think change is needed? Cybercrime isn't going away and the stakes are getting higher. Three million jobs need to be filled with qualified individuals right now. And this margin is only expected to keep growing. If we take 2020 as an indication, we can see what the future can hold for cybercrime. Last year, we saw one of the largest security breaches on record with SolarWinds, and there were also countless attempts in stealing information about the COVID-19 vaccine. And we've seen the rise of state-sponsored cyber warfare as well. How will we continue to combat these threats in 2021 and beyond with a critically understaffed workforce? The bar is set and it's set high. There are many hardworking individuals who would love to take on the opportunity to start working in cybersecurity, but for whatever reason, they're not in a position where they can. Some have families and cannot invest hundreds of hours of their own time to study. Others can't get into their first role without any experience. Furthermore, there are needless divisions within our own cybersecurity community already. Insults are often thrown around to discourage those who are starting out to pursue a cybersecurity career for the only benefit of elevating oneself. The more we fight amongst ourselves, the more damage we let the bad guys do. While this is largely going away, it is still a problem. So how can change happen? Well, fortunately, there are a few things that we can do at all levels to help with this. These are some of my ideas from the ground up. Firstly, those who have attained qualifications and are cybersecurity professionals have a choice. We can either do nothing and go about our day, or we can help elevate those underneath us. 
Make their journey a bit easier through quality mentorship and support. For businesses, maybe that hard-working system admin who has no security experience but applied for a security position, give them a chance. This is, after all, how I got to where I am, because my company firmly believed in me. While qualifications are great and certainly a requirement for many senior positions, maybe we should consider lowering the bar and not focus so much on these qualifications. Instead, focus on pairing junior staff with senior staff who can really help mentor and elevate them to become capable and eventually qualified themselves. And lastly, there needs to be significant government investment and in the right areas. This includes initiatives to make cybersecurity consulting accessible to small businesses and support businesses who are training new cybersecurity professionals. But lastly, I just wanted to touch on a few things that I think we're doing right. Over the past few years, there has been a massive increase in accessible services to learn the required skills in cybersecurity. There are more competitors in the professional cybersecurity training service and vast number of volunteers who create blog posts and YouTube channels to help pass on their skills for free. This is what we need more of. So to wrap up, while this is really just scratching the surface of such a complex topic, I hope it gives you a better idea of why this is such an important thing to consider. For those who are embarking on their cybersecurity journey, thank you and good luck. But anyway, these are just my opinions and potentially controversial. Do let me know what you think in the comments below or if you have any ideas of how we can further grow our profession. As always, if you found this video interesting, do leave it a like as it helps people like you find content like this. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.